This is a brief training for students who do not have a CCC Apply account at SRJC. Beginning September 24th, all students who access uh, programs such as Canvas will need to be able to have a CCC ID and a CCC Apply account. If they don't, they will not be able to log into their Canvas or other uh, tools that are part of the statewide system. So in order to resolve this, uh, we want you to follow the following steps so that you're able to log back into Canvas after September 24th, 2018. So to begin, just go to the URL and type in canvas.santarosa.edu. Here you'll be presented with a login page and you'll type in your student ID number and your password. Next you'll be taken to this page. Again it's going to ask for a username and password but because you do not have a CCC Apply account or a CCC ID you're going to need to create an account with CCC Apply or Open CCC. So to do this again ignore these two login fields and go directly to create a new account. From here, it's going to give you some information about the CCC Apply account. You're going to click on the button that says Begin Creating My Account. Here, you're going to type in your name. You're going to answer the questions that are presented to you here. Do you have a previous name, etc.? You're going to put in your birth date. You're going to do it twice to confirm. If you have a social security number, you are going to enter it in this area. If you don't, then you can just say that you don't plan to apply for admission and that you do not have a social security number. Uh, but make sure to use a social security number if you do have one because it helps link your record, your new CCC Apply account, to your SRJC record here at the college. So uh, it just it's, it makes sense to put that in there if you have one. If you don't, that's not a problem. Just check the boxes indicating that you don't and confirm by saying I decline to give your social security number. Next you'll be taken to this page where you can type in an email. We're going to type that in twice. I'm going to add some numbers to that. Okay. You don't have to use uh, telephone number information, but if you have one, you would want to enter that in. Then it's going to ask for your permanent address. That's the address where you live. If uh, you don't have a permanent address, you can put that there, but most people uh, do have an address, so make sure to put your address in there. If you don't, though, you can just say, I have no permanent address, and hit continue, and then you hit continue here as well. Next, it's going to ask for you to create a username, so we're going to create a username. And if it's already taken, just make a change until it's not taken. Looks like I got one that works. And then enter your password that you're going to use for this account for CCC Apply. And make sure to write all this information down so you have it somewhere for future use. And again, this is account information for CCC Apply. It's not the same information that you use for the student portal. So it's separate information, but you just want to keep note of it for future use in case you go to another college in California that uses CCC Apply you'll use the same account that you're creating now to access their online application for admission. Answer some security questions, so I'm going to just make some fake answers, but you will want to put some real answers in there because you want to remember the answer in case you forget your password so that you can recover your account. Let's see here. Uh, put Jane. All right. Then it's going to ask for I'm not a robot, so you just click on that, and then you hit create my account. Once uh, you, you've hit that button, you'll see this page, which will present you with your CCC ID number, 
Again, this is only for the purposes of CCC Apply. You do not use that number to log into your student portal, but it's good to write it down along with all the other information that you've written down so far so that you're able to access your account in case you forget um, your login information. But from this point, you would close your browser and within a few minutes, go back into santarosa.edu and access your Canvas account. And you should be able to use your student ID number and PIN code that you were always using to log into Canvas. This is just an added step that's required uh, that we had to implement in order for you to access Canvas. Uh, but now that you have a CCC Apply account, you can take that anywhere with you and apply to other colleges or uh, reapply to us if you come back to us, uh, if you had a break in an enrollment. Um, but this is just a, a brief tutorial on how to do that, and it will fix uh, your ability to log into Canvas.